Is that good? Alright, there's your labels. Careful, it's still wet, so don't touch the black part yet, okay? Yep. Alright, good listening. <laughs> there we go. There's a colony of ants in here. Fantastic. Whew, it's warm today. Hello, welcome. My name is Crystal. Today I am in the garden. It's beautiful outside. It is April 8th, I think. 2022. First thing I'm going to be doing today in the garden is transplanting the brassicas that I started from seed indoors into our raised bed greenhouse here. We live in Connecticut, zone 6A or B. It depends on what map you're looking at. I have all of my brassica seedlings. I've got cabbages, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, all in there. I'm going to add them to this garden bed here. As far as spacing goes, this is a three foot by eight foot bed. I have 10 varieties, three each of the plants. So I'm gonna try and squeeze in as many as I can. I'm probably just gonna do one per square foot in this bed. So each row will be a different variety of things and we'll see how many I can get in there. Oh, I have an onion growing in there too that's left over from last year. I think I'm gonna start with the Brussels sprouts on the ends here. All right, here is one of the Brussels sprout seedlings. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna dig a hole here, up here. Here we go. There's a colony of ants in here. Fantastic. So all I'm doing is just transplanting them in about a foot. One, I'm doing one per square foot in here and we'll see how many I can fit in. Oh, look at that red acre cabbage. Looks so great. There's three plants in there though. I might have to thin that back. I fertilized these the other day because they were looking pretty sad and they look better today. So I'm hopeful that they'll do okay in here. All right, I got them all in. I've also found a lot of ants, which I'll have to take care of. Now I'm gonna water them in. The only things I have left are the dinosaur kale and the dwarf Siberian kale. Depending on what the temperatures are going to be at night, I'll probably use these cloches here on top of them just to protect them at nighttime, make sure that it doesn't get too cold for them, but I think they'll do just fine. All right, I have this corner here and we're just going to stick dinosaur kale in right there. And then I'll just put, oh, I dug up one of my, my peas. And I have these pretty big containers over here. Um, I'm just gonna put some of the dwarfing Siberian kale in. This one has a few seedlings in it, but I think I'm just gonna leave it alone for now and see how it does. And then I'll probably thin back as needed. There we go. I'll do the other one. And today we're gonna start some dwarf gray sugar pea pod peas. <laughs> Where are you gonna put those? In my little purple garden. In your garden? Mm -hmm. And I need to write it. You did good, you got your carrots sprouting. It is really, it's really nice out and the flowers are sprouting. I saw a butterfly earlier. <laughs> That's exciting. Mm -hmm. What's the date? Today is April 8th. April. So you can do four. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Earthquake. Four, <laughs> eight. How many are you gonna do? Um, why not we do three? Three, okay. okay. Well, first you're gonna start with your holes. I'll hold the bag for you. So you're gonna make a hole about one inch. No, an inch would be like, like that. Okay. Okay? So you're gonna do three holes like that. There you go, and put one in each hole. And so Miranda's gonna be starting some cosmic purple carrots. And you're just gonna sprinkle them like like cupcake sprinkles into the soil. 
And then we're gonna have to cover up with the wood. Um, I think we're gonna this time just the soil and sprinkle it over the top very lightly. Good job, I can't wait to see how they do. Yeah, me too. So we have the mammoth melting sugar pea Jacob yeah. picked out. And the dulcinea. Can you say dulcinea? Alright, there's your labels. Careful, it's still wet, so don't touch the black part yet, okay? Yep. Alright, good listening. <laughs> so you're gonna drop one pea per hole there. Good job. Right, now we're going to do the, the carrots. There you go. Now you're going to use your other hand and you're going to sprinkle them like that over here. Yeah, good job. Right, now we're going to take some of the soil here. We're going to sprinkle that on top. There you go. Okay. Good job. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. I placed an online order yesterday on tractor supply. And Steve picked it up on his way home from work today. We got a big 50 gallon water for the goats and some seven foot tea posts for the garden. We grabbed some goat pellets, scratch grains, and the organic crumble that we feed the chickens. So we'll load that up and move it over. I wanted to get this container for a few reasons. Um, Mostly so that when we go away this year camping for the weekend, I will, I'm not going to be worried that the goats don't have enough water to drink. <laughs> this is a 50 gallon uh, Rubbermaid water. You can use a heater in it, but it has to be one of the caged ones so that it doesn't melt the plastic. First thing I'm going to do is rinse it out. When the wheelbarrow's finished, we can put that hay in it and I'll bring it over to the chickens. They are very wasteful. Alright, I think that's pretty full. I'm going to let it get all the way to the top and then I'll turn it off. Is that good? And that'll do it. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.